with the killing and the outrage and you know everybody upset you know, you know people trying to figure out you know they're so frustrated you know some people are blaming the kid because eh, you shouldn't have run according to Neely Fuller he says is don't fight don't fuss don't flee if you don't know who Neely Fuller is and that's somebody you better get up on real quick but anyway so we're talking and um, the frustration level is mounting again and the um, the police chief says oh it's obviously an, it was an accident it was an accident and then you see the video you don't hear no gunshots right you don't see no blood or nothing. Um, um, all you hear is, is, oh, oh my God, I think I shot him or something like that. It's crazy. Just like another day at work. Oh my God, I think I dropped my pencil. <laughs> you know, uh, I think I, my shoes on tied or something, you know. But that's how we rolling, man. That's how we, that's how we get down, man. Black Lives Matters, question mark, question mark, you know. So, so I had a, a radical idea of what people can do, right? This is my radical idea. Um, you know how when you talk to some um, black people, they always got to tell you what they would do or their opinion. You didn't ask for their opinion. You know, I, you know, if it was me, I would have did. I, I, you know, I, the nigga shouldn't have ran, and they start telling you all of this stuff that you didn't ask for. You be like, and then a, a friend uh, Lloyd, he has a poem called "Niggas Talk Too Much," because niggas talk too much, and yeah, Negroes be talking too much, especially you know, in front of in front of pilgrims and. Uh, they just stick a camera in their face and they just be talking. Oh, they gotta talk. The 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 guys, uh, the young man's mother that got, uh, you know, killed. They rush right up to her and right up to her, like, and she be talking. I mean, like, why why are you talking under this emotional stress that you're under? Like, you know, get yourself together. And um, all of the mother's uh, emotion, the heart wrenching, uh, it's just too much to be watching like every other month, every other week, it's just too much. But we do it and we, um, and we lap it up, we love it, we, we love it. And folks be drinking our tears and it's just so terrible. And then we go do the same thing that we always do, which is jump around. And uh, nothing really changes. So here, this is my radical idea. What if black people just didn't talk for like a week? Didn't say anything to anybody about anything. We just were quiet, like nobody talked. It should be, you know, well, I say nobody. You get about 70% of all FBAs, uh, African-American, Negroes, niggas, uh, Africans, uh, whatever. If your skin got, if you, if you look like a black person, I got a t-shirt that says you can call yourself anything, but your face will speak for itself, right? So... Yeah, if you look in the mirror and you look like a, a Negro person, just don't talk. Don't say anything for like a week, 10 days. Nobody say anything. I think that would be um, some kind of heavy psychological warfare right there. Just don't, don't say nothing about nothing. Just, you know, ruminate about the shit. You see another brother in the street, just nod your head. Don't say nothing. Go to work, don't say nothing. Unless you have a job that you have to talk or something. You know, and you only talk when you have to. But other than that, you don't talk in the coffee area. You don't talk on the train. You don't, just like quiet. 
for like a week. Try some psychological warfare. And, uh, and then after that, you know, sparingly talk. Don't talk to the media. Don't talk to your neighbor. Don't talk to the gentrifier downstairs while you're walking your dog. Don't, don't do any of that. Don't do nothing. Don't even talk to your dog. <laughs> and just, uh, just see how that works out. But, um, yeah, the birds be like putting on a display out here, man. They're like floating by. I can't see it really. Formation, way really over there. I can't see it. But, man, it's, uh, it's really, oh, there they go. See that? Yeah, see that. And they all land in the water, like, you know. I guess there's a good 75 birds over there. It's beautiful. It's great. But, yeah, yeah, do that. And don't explain it. Just, just be quiet, everybody. And think about what you really want to do. Think about what you really want to do, how you want to live. You know. They always say, well, you know, this can't go on forever or this can't go on. This can't go on. It's got to stop. No, it don't have to stop. Why? What rule says it has to stop? We damn sure ain't stopping. And they don't have the heart to stop. So... And now people are coming out saying it was probably staged because there's no gunshots, you know. The, the film is definitely edited, so. And, you know, it was just an honest mistake. Wow, I, I thought that was my taser, and I just shot him. You know. It's crazy. But probably, it never happened before, and it'll probably never happen again, but, you know. Should be happening. Should be happening. So yeah, that's my um, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, this is this is the last day I'm going to be talking about this stuff because it's, it's too much on the soul. It's too much on the heart. You know, it's too much disrespect. Too much. It's too much. So I'll be off of that. I will be off of that. Yeah, it was a really good conversation with my friend Dennis, and uh, we were just talking, man, talking about life, talking about um, love, talking about, um, you know, belief and faith and um, the oneness of everything. <laughs> it's funny, I'm laughing because he can't, he can't get with that, really. Everything is one? Yeah, everything is one, right, yeah. I told him, you're just another me. He was like, I don't know if I can, I don't know. I guess he'd look at me and be like, nah, I don't want to be that Negro. <laughs> but it's cool. But, um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Come on over to uh, Ken Taylor on uh, YouTube, Sky Culture Muse. And uh, check this video out and like and share it. I'm building a page over there. So please, friends of mine, virtual friends of mine, come on through. Help a brother out. I think I went from uh, six subscribers to now I got 22. So it's moving in the right direction, which is great. So come through. Hit that like button, as they say, and uh, subscribe, and um, yeah, and 
that be much appreciative. It will be very, very heartwarming. I, I, folks. Take care. This is me, Ken Taylor, loving my life.